Hey there, and thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to Money Mom on her Sensible Living channel for giving me a shout out. So I wanted to return the favor and say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already checked out her channel, you should definitely do that. I will put the link in the description bo box below. But she really liked my organized Christmas countdown, and I really like that she liked that. And I'm hoping that that will be helpful to more people because I know that it was super helpful for me in all areas, like mentally, budget-wise, spiritually, like, and it just, it's a great way to make the holidays a little bit more peaceful. So because she kind of gave me that shout out and it, it made me want to be a little bit more clear on my journey and where I am. So this is my sort of back on the bandwagon, what inspired me to get back on the bandwagon and what brought me here today. So I actually started this channel back in 2015 with the idea that I would get out of debt in one year. I had $20,000 of student loan debt and I thought that if I really put my mind to it, I could totally get out of debt because at the time my housing costs were super low and my income was, it was low, but it was like manageable. I could think that if I, if I put aside maybe 2000 a month and just threw it at the debt, I could totally do it. Well, situations happened and I wasn't able to make that goal. Um, expenses came up. And I kind of got discouraged because I didn't make the goal in the time frame that I had allotted myself. And then in 2016, my housing costs went up dramatically and I knew it was coming, but it kind of, the fact that it like, that it hit and that particular storm really broke um, or opened up kind of discouraged me even further. So from 2016 till about now, I would say I haven't been as gazelle intense as a lot of people or really as focused or as dedicated or as disciplined. I would make a budget maybe at the beginning of the month and then maybe stick to it, maybe not. So I really haven't been the most dedicated to the process. So what's changed? Recently, I just started making videos again and I thought to myself, there's no excuse for this. Well, two things. So I tend to be either super hard on myself or completely um, like permissive. So, and, and there's the quote about you either, you, um, fluctuate between denial and despair. And that's definitely me. Like I would either deny and say that, oh, you know, this debt's not a big deal. And the reality is it doesn't really affect my life that much. Like it's student low, it's super low interest. It doesn't really keep me from doing a lot of things, but it is a liability, however slight that liability might be. So I really wasn't motivated that much to get rid of the debt. And it kind of fell off my radar as something to do. So what changed? Hence, this video, why am I back on the bandwagon? And what makes me think that this time is gonna be different? So this is what's different. Number one, I have seen so many people have success um, with relatively small income. So like like myself, so small incomes like me, other people have had success, let me be clear. For example, Budget Girl, like she's a huge inspiration to so many of us. And I'm thinking if she can do it, we, we all can do it. Like she's so super, super motivating. She's dedicated, she's super smart. She's really focused and I think that that's a huge, I know that's a huge uh, motivation for all of us. But also what really, so she made me believe that it was possible but and what personally touched me was the fact that how I manage my money doesn't only affect me. It affects the health of relationships, it affects family, it affects your being able to care for other people, it affects quality of life for other people. And that was a huge wake-up call to me that I'm not just living for myself. There are other people that are affected by my choices. So while that can be kind of a little bit daunting, it's also kind of, I guess, inspiring that it's not just about you. So that's, I don't know if that's super vague or if that's that's helpful, but I hope this kind of gives you a background to where I am. I've been at this for a while. It's, it's not an overnight process. It's not, um, it didn't happen in the time frame that I wanted, but it's, I'm confident that it's, it's going to happen. I am going to get out of debt and I am going to live a financially prosperous future because that's the choice that I'm making now. And I'm making a commitment to that process. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of like a, 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 let's say a random, but kind of a spur of the moment video. So that's what I'm here to say and give you a little bit more background on who I am and what I'm doing. Um, I'm a 30-something professional, I live in the Northeast, I'm single, um, and my mom and I are roommates. So that's where I am, that's my story. I hope that you will tune in more. Um, this is a quote also, I'll leave you with this, um, that I found um, from Clever Girl Finance, and I thought it was really applicable. So the quote is, being broke can be part of the journey, but staying broke is a choice. 
And that's a choice that I'm not going to make anymore. I'm making the choice not to stay broke. So again, thank you for watching and I hope that you'll watch more.